I just bought this Dual Co Mini Grease Gun. Uh, I figured this is going to be real helpful for uh, inserting grease onto like bearings and, uh, and other uh, work on bikes. Um, a lot nicer than stick my finger in the grease and everything like that. Um, but with a little nozzle like here, I can go ahead and squirt it in. Uh, I bought the Dual Co. It's a little bit more expensive than some of the... There's some other ones that are the same basic design. But from what I could see, uh, I don't know if they were the same quality as the Dual Co. Um, I saw that Harbor Freight actually sells one that looks pretty much just like it. But it didn't get a uh, great review. So I decided to just, you know, spend just a few, do a few dollars more and get the one made by Dual Co. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and fill it with grease. I bought some uh, marine grease. This is kind of uh, water resistant. And so what I'm going to do is open this right here like this. And if you've already been using it, um, this little uh, part down here at the bottom, um, push this up here like this, this little part here may, may be part way up with grease. So what you want to do is go ahead and push it down to it's all the way at the bottom. And then I have like a uh, paint stirrer here. I kind of split it down the middle so that it's just a little bit narrower. Let's just go ahead and scoop some out. And you want to fill this thing completely. Put some grease in there. Put some grease in there. And then as you go, you want to be tamping it down so the grease goes down. You want to try to minimize or get rid of any air pockets in there. Uh, the way this grease gun works is more from vacuum. It actually vacuums it out from here and sprays it out as opposed to anything pushing it up. So if you have air in there, uh, it will lose the vacuum. You want to fill it all the way to the top here. And if you've already been using it, there's going to be grease already up in here. But if you haven't been using it, then this part is up here is going to be empty at this point. So you want to go ahead and actually have this mounted up just a little bit. Like that. Okay, now go ahead and screw this top on, but don't screw it on quite tight. Oh, I want to show you here something here. There's a little slot up in here uh, this is for, uh, this allows uh, air to escape for when you're uh, bleeding this. So what you want to do is screw this down but not tight. Leave it just a little bit loose. Now take the screwdriver and you're going to push this up from the bottom. And try to hopefully get some of the area and then when, when uh, grease starts coming out from that little uh, slot there then you're done go ahead and tighten this down like that so now we still there's probably still air in there so what we want to do is just go ahead start pumping this push it in let it come out and start pumping this and try to get it primed Might have to push up a little bit in here. Oh, it's starting to get a little bit of grease coming out the tip there. And 
there. Now it's working. And so that is how you set one of these guys up. And so then as I need grease, looks like there's probably some still a little bit of air in the system. It's just going to take a little bit to get it worked out here. There. And if you're having a problem getting some of the, all the air out of it, what you can do is also hold it upside down and tamp it down this way once you get you know everything in there and that'll help, help uh, get all the air out of there. So anyway, this I think will be real nice uh, for uh, greasing ball bearings. I can get just a small amounts of grease in there as opposed to using my fingers smearing it all around there. Um, it's a neat little tool. I think I'm going to like it. And that's the Dualco Mini Grease Gun.